welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. If this is your first time here in this channel, you will find cozy and gentle yoga practices to help you find more comfort, presence, and ease in your life, no matter your body shape or your mobility level or your knowledge of yoga. In today's practice, as you can tell, I am rocking my PJs because today's practice is a bedtime yin yoga practice. So cozy and slow and will help you wind down at the end of the day and get a good night's sleep. So put on your pajamas, roll out your yoga mat and grab a plushy blanket for today's practice and let's get started. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn, teaching yoga students how to find more comfort and presence in life through the lessons of gentle hatha and yin yoga, no matter your shape or ability to touch your toes. Okay, bedtime yoga, time to get cozy on up and ready to sleep well tonight and also wind down at the end of the day. So if you've come to this video and you're like, I have had a day, then this is your chance to really wind down from whatever type of day that you might have had. So props are gonna be helpful for today's practice are a blanket. So grab your plushiest and coziest blanket that you've got, and then a few yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, a few heavy books will work perfectly fine. We're gonna be starting today's practice in a seated position. So you're just coming into your cross-legged shape, comfortable shape. If comfortable for you means a little bit more supported, then you can grab a cushion or you can even fold up your blanket a few times so that then it can come underneath of your sit bones so that then you can really allow yourself to settle. And then allowing the hands to come palms face down on the knees, which will help encourage a little bit more of a grounding, softening, settling sensation in the physical body as well as energetically, so in the heart and in the mind. And then right away, before you close your eyes, before we settle into the centering aspect of the practice, bring your attention to your shoulders. Let's just do three circle rolls. So inhale, allow the shoulders to come up towards the ears. And then on the exhale, allow those shoulders to roll back and down. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders come up, squeeze. Exhale, roll those shoulders back. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Last one, maybe you roll those shoulders back and kind of shoulder blades towards each other a little bit more and then soften those shoulder blades. Bring your eyes to a close. Do any last adjustments, any last wiggles in the body so that you can really feel your sit bones grounding into whatever support that you have underneath of you. If it doesn't feel comfortable to have the eyes closed, no sweat, my darling, the eyes can still be open, but I'll just invite that you bring a little bit of softness to the face. And as you settle into this moment, really settle into this moment. So physically, you're settling in, hunkering down for a good old yoga practice. Also allow your heart and your mind, so your attention to be here. Maybe it takes a few moments for you to shift, but for this practice, for it to really be a chance for you to wind down, allow your awareness to be here and resisting the urge to get caught up in whatever might have happened today. Over the course of the day, you might have been giving other people attention and other tasks attention and care, being pulled in every which way. So allow this end of day practice to be your chance to give yourself some attention, yourself some care. to help allow your awareness to sink into this moment, bringing your awareness to your breath. Maybe taking a couple of exhales, sighing it out, feeling the presence of your breath. That breath being a helpful tool to anchor you into this practice. The deepening and lengthening of the exhales also helps with softening into the nervous system and slowing down the heart rate.
Beautiful. All right, if the eyes are closed, slowly opening into the eyes. And then we'll bring a little bit of movement to the neck. So allow your chin to drop in towards your chest. And then roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. And then picking up into your left hand, allow the left hand to come onto the head just to gently encourage it down. And then you can play here with either staying exactly where you've settled into or exploring how moving or changing where your chin goes, how that changes where you might feel, oh, if I do this with my chin, that kind of changes the stretch and I can create a little bit more space. Once you find that spot, Take three deep breaths. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, releasing that left hand down, allow the chin to drop back down towards the chest and then rolling over towards the other side, right ear comes towards the right shoulder, picking up into the right hand to bring the right hand onto the head. Take a second to move your chin around to find a spot where you freely feel a stretch along the side of the neck, into the shoulder, maybe into the front of the chest. Once you find that spot, take three deep breaths. maintaining that connection with those deep exhales. Beautiful. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, first starting with the right hand coming down onto the knee, drop the chin in towards the chest, and then just place a hand onto the forehead to gently encourage that head to come back up to center. Bringing some stretch across the heart now, allow the fingertips to come onto the mat on either side of your hips to find some length in the spine. And then take an inhale to stretch the arms out, fingertips then come all the way up towards the sky so that your palms are facing the front of your space. And then on the exhale, bend into the elbows and pull the elbows back, Whoa, feeling that stretch across the heart. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, reach those hands up. Exhale, bend into the elbows like as if you're pinching something in between both of your shoulder blades as you pull the arms down. Two more times. Really wonderful stretch for you to be doing at the end of a day if you've been seated at a desk. Great stretch to do into the armpits across the heart to help alleviate some upper back pain or shoulder pain. Awesome. From this cross-legged shape, if you are seated on your blanket, I would suggest that you fold it up just one more time so that then you've got a little bit more support underneath of your sit bones. So you sit on top of that folded up blanket and then scoot yourself forward so that you're tipping your pelvis forward a little bit, which will help create space for our next shape. Keeping that right foot in towards you, open up into that left leg. To support that right knee, you can grab hold of your block and place that block underneath of your knee. And then allow your heart to come over towards that extended leg. Don't worry if it's perfectly aligned. That's not what we're going for here. We're just aiming to find some sort of a stretch in the low back and in the leg. And then let this release forward be like really lazy, really slow as you just walk yourself forward and down. So that then you come over top of that leg or a little bit in so that you can create space for your body. And then if you would like some added support for the head, you can place a block underneath of your head, stack a couple of fists on top of the block if the block is not high enough. You don't have to use that block if you don't want to. It can just, you can just allow that head to float just encouraging the back of the neck to soften and release, to come into a really full, surrendering, energetic shape here. Allow the palms to open up towards the sky. 
with those exhales being ever present in your practice this evening. Explore those long, deep exhales in this shape. The inhale travels up the length of the spine, raising up the upper body a little bit. And the long exhale invites softness and invites letting go. Letting go of anything that doesn't serve you in this moment. Letting go of anything you might be holding on to that might have happened today. Just letting go. Letting this time on your mat to be soft, to be cozy. Letting yourself wind down, settle down, getting ready for a wonderful and cozy sleep full of dreams. Using the support of the hands, first start by just flipping the palms down towards the mat. Pressing into the hands to walk the hands in so that your head comes up last. Turning towards the front of your space. Moving that block from beneath your right knee so that you can extend into that right leg and then the left foot comes in towards you. That block comes underneath of the knee for added support. And then turning towards that right extended leg and then you just simply begin to walk yourself forward and down. That block can come underneath of your forehead if you'd like, or you can simply allow your head to settle, softening the back of the neck. Palms flipping up towards the sky, inviting that sense of surrender and soften. The mind is still having a little bit of a, a time in terms of being caught up in the day or caught up in doing, analyzing, judging, checking things off the to-do list. But with compassion and kindness, come back to your breath. Come back to this moment. Giving yourself the care and the attention that you oh so deserve. Beginning to move even slower as the practice progresses here, even slower than you have already. Flip one palm down, flip the other palm down. Walk the hands in, the head comes up last. Turning your heart towards the front of your space, take a second here to pause. And then removing that block from beneath your knee. And then coming off of your blanket and placing your blanket just nearby because we're going to be using it once you make your way down onto the mat. But moving the blanket just to one side and grabbing hold of both of your blocks. Coming into a diamond shape with the legs. So soles of the feet come together and then your knees open wide and then placing your blocks underneath of your knees. 
and then making your way onto your back. So you can kind of, like I just did, so you can press into the mat, kind of lifting your hips down and forward so that then when you come down into the shape, your low back feels okay, it feels supported. Do any last adjustments here so that your low back and your hips feel okay. And then placing the hands onto the belly, palm face down. The eyes come to a close as you settle into the support of the mat, of the earth. Letting your bones, your muscles, your whole body to sink into the support. Softening across the face releasing into the jaw. arms come into a t-shape so opening the arms up with the palms open towards the sky if you're in a little space you can bend at the elbows and kind of cactus into the arms without worrying about the blocks just yet bringing one knee up and into center the other knee up and into center so your soles of the feet are on the mat now press into the feet to lift into the hips and slide the hips over towards the left and then bring them down the knees fall over towards the right and your block is going to be there as a helpful tool to come in between the knees so you can adjust here so your knees can come in a little bit closer towards the body and block comes in between the knees to help support the body and then just take three deep breaths here in this supine twist this nice low back release Once you have taken those three deep breaths, you can move that block from between your knees. The soles of the feet come onto the mat so that you can bring the knees back into center and then pick the hips up, slide the hips over towards the right, hips come down. Knees then fall over towards the left using that block that's already there to then bring that block in between the knees. You can bring the knees a little bit closer in towards you here. Three deep breaths here. Once you have taken those three deep breaths, moving so slow. Start with the top leg to come back into center. Move that block over towards one side. Lift the second leg, come back into center. You can move those blocks entirely over towards one side. You won't be needing them anymore. Pick the legs up and bring the knees in towards the chest. Hug those knees in to create a little bit more space for your body. You can have one hand on top of each shin or on top of each knee or on the back of the thighs and rock from side to side, massaging the low back. Coming back into center, get ready to come into your last shape of the practice this evening. Coming into legs up the wall pose. So scoot yourself over towards a wall nearby. And it's pretty simple. It's simply a matter of bringing your hips up beside by the wall 
and then allow your legs to come up towards the sky. And then your blanket is nearby. So you can place your blanket over top of your body here, specifically over top of your belly to help encourage some grounding into the body. Opening the arms up with the palms open towards the sky. Do any last adjustments in the body so that you can fully settle and soften in the shape. This is the like best of the best restorative yin yoga postures to help aid the physical body to sleep more comfortably and more soundly. That's where, where blood flows, energy flows, right? So when you're getting ready for lots of energy in the body, the physical body responds and blood gets sent into those areas of the body. So specifically at your feet, the base of your body, blood pools and hangs out there over the course of the day to help with energy, to help move you through the day. With this pose, you're helping flush that blood out of the soles of your feet to help bring now some softness, some lower energy into the legs. Your breath be soft. Settling into the stillness of this posture. Deep sleep, restful sleep is filled with dreams. It is not only beneficial for your physical health, but also for your mental health, your mental well being, the brain's health. It helps wipe the slate clean, allow you to wake up the next day with an open mind and allows a little bit more space for growth in the mind, in the body. Letting yourself Settle into the stillness as you shift from the state of doing that you were in over the course of the day and settling into instead the state of simply being. You can keep that blanket on you if you'd like as you transition out of the shape and let this transition be fully sloth-like. <laughs> as you allow your legs to fall over towards the right or the left, using those feet to press yourself away from the wall just enough so that you can come resting on your side. Allowing the right arm to come underneath of the head, the knees to come in close. You can cuddle in with that blanket if you'd like. Taking this very last moment of your practice this evening to bring in a sense of gratitude, of gratefulness. Feeling grateful that you were able to take time at the end of your day to do something for you. With such care, using the support of the hands to press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Bringing the hands into heart center, pressing the palms together, thumbs are pressing in towards the heart. Taking one last inhale. One last exhale at the mouth. Opening the eyes. 
Thank you so much for joining me in this bedtime yoga practice. I truly hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and a wonderful sleep. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then now would be a wonderful time to become a subscriber to help support more free online accessible yoga. From my heart to yours, until next time, namaste.